so this is where we make the elephant dung compost so normally how it works you will see some piles over here yesterday there was more piles but there's piles gone now so normally each morning where the stable lands pick up the dung from the stables and then they bring it here with the tractor then they drop the dung here and that's where we come in so what we do you can see in some of the piles there's some still some dung balls normally we serve supposed to um, shift the dung uh, for a week every day and water it every day and then once a week for a month you shift it and wet it but only once a week and then after that you get compost I'll show you in the bag now and then we also get leftover food from the lodge um, so we started looking into something what we can do with the leftover food other than just throwing it away in the bush or let it end up on the landfill like it's not supposed to. So we got, we started with a Bukashi system. So here we have a drum, these blue drums, which where you get like a substance, um, it's all, it almost looks like sawdust where you where we take the leftover food and we throw it in these drums about a layer let's say a 10 centimeter layer and then we throw some bukashi on top and then another layer of leftover food bukashi until it's full and then you close it for two weeks and after two weeks it completes completely breaks down everything even bones you don't have to take out anything obviously you can't put plastic in it but the rest you can keep on bones eggs anything and as soon as that's ready, that is when we bring it to mix it with the elephant dung compost. Basically, we normally do it with the heaps that are um, currently still in process of becoming elephant dung. Because if we close it, the dung gets very heated, especially in this heat and if you don't wet it every day. So it even breaks down the food more and the organic material that comes from that makes it even better for the dung so the elephant dung compost is actually then very good seeing the organic matter um, But after a month when it's ready we use the old also bags that's empty and then we put the finished dung elephant dung compost inside so this is what it will look like when it is done so you can obviously mix this with your soil or your plants and then this is some good nutrients for the plants Currently we use it for, we take the also bags, put them in a storeroom and then we go take it onto the reserve where we use a tractor to rip the soil, especially where there is no vegetation or anything for the elephants. We rip it there, mix some dung, throw some grass seeds and that's just normally before the raining season to rehabilitate the felt and make sure the elephants still have grasses to walk on and the grass so all currently all our bags of elephant dung compost is going on to the reserve from here. yes so normally it gets very hot here in on the reserve so sometimes you have to give more water and sometimes you can't actually get too much give too much water so we have to monitor it and check regularly so how you do a check actually is i just put my hand in 
other people can you can use a thermometer to see um, at what, how many degrees the dung is but I just put my hand in and if it's hot it's okay to be hot but it, if it burns your hand while holding the dung then you know you have to add water and if obviously if it's cold you're also um, giving too much water so it's not supposed to get cold or even too hot and sometimes when it gets too hot um, I actually found a piece here this is what happens it gets too cold so it gets moldy and then you you, you can actually smell it in the dung as well you get that vin um, vinegarish smell of the stuff getting too hot and yeah, so I check it regularly and then uh, we add water according to the checks we do.